What is up YouTube? Back out again with a YouTube video today. And today I'm gonna be talking about my top five post spawn baits to use to catch those post spawn fish that just came off shallow, uh, just came off the beds, and um, are in that finicky stage, and some of them are ready to eat, and some of them are finicky. Just depends with the bass. But let's get into it. And um, I'm gonna make this short and sweet and um, get right to the point. So, my bait number one, my best bait to use during a uh, during the post spawn is gonna be sometimes you gotta go finesse on them, they're real finicky. You know, you, sometimes you see them uh, sunning or in the mid water column, top of the water column, and you kind of throw your bait at them, but they won't bite. Um, those are most likely post spawn fish and they're real finicky. We see them underneath the docks, they're on top, you see about four or five of them, and they uh, throw in them, just kind of slowly sink to the bottom, kind of move away. And uh, I'll show you what you could catch with the, uh, what you could catch to get those post spawners to bite. So, my bait number one is going to be any type of a trick one. So, this one is a zoom. Trick worm. Uh, I like to throw natural colors, no matter basically where I'm fishing. Uh, summertime, I like to go to that June bug or blue fake, blue blue flick. Just depends. Sometimes you get a little bit more crazy with the uh, with the colors, but I like to throw natural through most of the season with the trick worm. Throw a uh, three sixteen ounce shaky head, as you see right here. Picture up there, and um. I like throw 316 ounce, or you go with a 1 8 just depends. The finicky bass could be really tough to catch, but if you're fishing up shallow around docks, um, that's what you're going to use. Um, fishing deep, trying to target those big offshore post spawn fish, you know, you got 316, even a 1 half, maybe 3 8 just depends. But that's what I like to use. Another uh, good bait, number two, is going to be to really get those finicky bass. And it's going to be a weightless Senko. Whether that's fishing a wacky rig, Texas rig, it just really depends. I use a, um, I like to use a 4 aught, maybe a 3 aught. Um, Warm hook, you can you, you can go with an offset hook, but I like to go with a warm hook. Any type, anything, oh, uh, like warm related baits or slender baits, I like to go with a um, warm hook. So, speaking of that, go weightless, hits on these docks, let it slow sink on a, a wacky rig or a Texas rig, let it slow sink, and then just keep a little bow in your line, keep it tight, and then sometimes you see your line just kind of, you know, just kind of twitch, and then most of the times that's fish, and reel up and set the hook. They're gonna they're gonna eat that in the fall, so you gotta really watch your line on that. So you just gotta be a line watcher, not a fish peeler. So with that being said, I'll throw. Uh, natural colors, always pretty much natural colors with Senkos, even with the trick worms. But I'll always throw natural colors with um, Senkos. Very rarely do I go to a different crazy color on a Senko. But number four, or excuse me, number three um, on the post spawn um, baits, the shad spawn is actually going on. So, with the shad spawn actually going on, start off with a top water bait. Early morning, even late evenings, but top water really shines in the early, early morning. When these shad are spawning on boat ramps, rocks, any type of hard bottom, these, uh, these shad are going to be spawning. These bass are going to be up there with them, picking them off one by one. 
and a top water, you cannot go wrong with that. Big, big fish. Even your, you know, biggest fish on the lake, you're gonna be up shallow that time of the year. So, a top water is a great uh, lure to use. So anything that mimics the, you know, bait fish, uh, like a spook or even a whopper plopper, if there's some chop, a popper, that is gonna work phen phenomenal. So. Uh, bait number four. You know when the shad spawn's going on, it gets a little later in the morning, or if it's early in the evening. A square bill, square bill, or a medium diving square bill, anywhere that goes no further apart than eight feet, is going to be a very good bait to use. So, you know, go shad color like what I just showed you. Just go white shad color. You ain't Top of shad color, get the size of your bait. So, if your shad you know, like this big, you want to throw something that big. If your shad's a little bigger, if you have, if you have gifts of shad and you want a bigger profile square build, just gotta match the hat and then match the color of your bait fish. So, bait number five is gonna be a spinner bait. So a spinnerbait is really good fishing around docks, fishing around uh, standing timber stumps, really anything like that. Pitch it in there, work it along, along the docks, um, work it along the, um, uh, what is it called, standing timber stumps, and you get a whole bunch of fish off the uh, spinnerbait, even through the summer, basically, I mean, you're going to get, you're going to be you're gonna get bit on the spinnerbait. Hands down you are. So that's a really good shad imitating. Shows a, a small school of fish. Um, that's gonna be a really good bait. I like to throw um, anywhere from chartreuse, white, short, uh, white and chartreuse. Any uh, colors like that is gonna be a good bait to use. So spinnerbaits are really good to use. And um, I mean, that's basically going to conclude the video. I mean, uh, just short and sweet. Get down to the... Get down to it. So, um, if you enjoyed the video, if you learned anything too, if you uh, find my uh, top five baits helpful to you, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe so you stay up to my latest content. If you haven't seen the uh, my top five spawn, mid-spawn baits, Click the ID card right there. Click that little card right there on top. Should be top right of the screen. But click that and uh, go watch that video. So if you like that video, leave that thumb, uh, uh, thumbs up. And um, hopefully y'all learn a thing or two. So enough said. Hopefully y'all enjoy. I'll see y'all on the next Marcus.